everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Fasten your seatbelts for one of the great divisional rivalries in the NFL. This is the first of two games between these teams this year, and you know it's going to be entertaining. It's the Dolphins going up against the Patriots. So let's get you up to Foxborough as we check in with our commentators, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they come into this one after a loss in the opener, and they're in for another tough test here. And what a battle for an organization to look at your schedule and see two road games to start the season and not have a letdown immediately. If you got to fight against that, they've got to come out ready to play. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They're led out by a man who started more Super Bowls than anyone in NFL history, the great Tom Brady. I can't help but admire the career Tom Brady has had. The numbers are off the charts. The Super Bowl championships and rings, we know that they are incredible. But how about the durability? Had one season that he missed, most of that season because of a knee injury. The rest of the time, he answers the bell and wills his team to victory more times than not. 20. Now a first carry for LeGarrette Blount. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And a big face mask penalty here, 15 yards. You never want to get your hands up in the face mask area because your fingers can get tangled up there, and that can hurt you as a player. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and it's second down. And on this offense, a guy that kind of came in under the radar, Lewis. Hard to believe that Deion Lewis was that far under the radar. There is something to precedent from schools. Played at Pitt, and they do know how to churn out running backs. Now it's Brady. And incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And now it's third down. And a look at the starters for the Miami defense. The competition to go to the Pro Bowl at safety is fierce at the NFL. But Rashad Jones makes his case year in and year out as one who should go. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Throwing is Brady on third down. And that's incomplete. The former Bill, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And it brings up fourth down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. So the Patriots will turn it over to their left-footed punter. That's Ryan Allen to kick it away. The dangerous Jarvis Landry back for Miami. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. 
So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They're led by their 6'4 quarterback out of Texas A&M in his fifth season now, Ryan Tannehill. And Ryan Tannehill is one of the more durable quarterbacks in the league. He's been the starter from day one since he got drafted. Four straight seasons of 16 starts in each and every one of them. The one thing that hasn't happened, though, he hasn't led his team to the playoff. He wants to change that right now. Now it's the boys he stayed along, Jay Ajayi. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. They run again with Ajayi. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but half on the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. And on your screen, the offensive starters, Jarvis Landry, a guy that we profile. Love his game. Not only is he going to beat you with athleticism, he's going to outwork you as well and look for him to hurt you also in the kick return game. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. It's caught, Cameron, left side. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And now Edelman. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and the Patriots take over. So the Patriots coming out now. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> by 20! By 20! Brady now on first down. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. yardage back at the 43 yard line it's a loss of two now third down but when it comes to the running game the New England Patriots they're one of the few teams in the NFL that I don't think care much about balancing things out <laughs> last year to your point fifth in passing yardage number 30 in the run game what they want to do each and every week is make a game plan based on their opponent not so much their own personnel and they try to attack that way now Brady into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rashad Jones. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. And they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Yeah, making their way back out there now, the Patriots defense. They have a little something to build off of from last time with a three and out. And what they have to build off of? Great confidence right now. Being able to stuff someone on a three and out. You feel like you're in control now. You're doing the dictating. They want to see if that can continue as this game progresses. Will it continue? We'll see. After the interception, here's Tannehill. And caught by Cameron right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 
So Ajayi picking up some yardage, and last year only 187 yards as a rookie. Well, Lamar Miller's gone to Houston. That opens up more possibilities for him. I think we'll see the full range of his game, running and catching this season. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Tannehill now, the give to Ajayi. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. And quickly, let's check out the New England defense. Malcolm Butler's rise to fame culminated with a fantastic play in the Super Bowl, but what a tremendous success story. Totally off the radar, has turned himself into an NFL starter. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackle. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. He's got time, and he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Here's Matt Dar now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Blunt, the lone running back. And he'll get it up the middle. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Brady to throw on second down. And right side caught Hogan. Charles, I know it's hard when live bullets are flying, but you cannot keep your hand up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. So here we go, first and ten now. First and ten, here's Brady. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Throwing now is Brady. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. 
Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. From the gun on third down, Brady. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Can't wait to see what the second quarter has in store. And we'll return to Foxborough after this. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. Here's Ryan Allen now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game, but one of the goose eggs is gone. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. Now this is fielded in the end zone. And now out come the Patriots. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Now a play fake, Brady backing up, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You ever notice that when Tom Brady does get hit and drop to the ground, there's some guys back to him pretty quickly to check on his health, aren't there? That's <laughs> exactly right. He, for as much as he throws, doesn't take a lot of square shots, but took one there. He's really smart in the pocket, isn't he? Even out of the pocket, he understands where the pressure is coming from. He senses people. You're exactly right. Doesn't take too many direct ones, but that one, that one had to hurt. It's complete to the tight end, Bennett. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And a big no-no last time, a safety to make this score 2-0 where we stand now. So, see if they can atone for that mistake. You give up points, 
But on the flip side, the positive side, after you punted the ball away or kicked it away. Defense held. Defense held for you. So there's a little bit of relief there. Now they know they can get back out on the field, run their offense, and try to put their defense in a bad spot again. Second down following the incompletion. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. But a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. And that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he uncorks a beauty, best of the day. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. And back onto the field, here comes the Dolphins defense. Their stay on the field last time was short-lived with a three and out. See if they can get some more of that. And ordinarily, you want to be on the field playing, right? But three and out, that's almost gold to a defense. Get to the bench, get some rest, turn the ball over to your offense. We'll see what they can do here, see if they can force another three and out. They'll begin here with Blunt. A strong running. <laughs> and he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Now Brady over the middle. That's caught by Hogan. Face mask penalty, and Charles, you were a defender. You know sometimes in the heat of the moment, it's hard to keep your hands away from that face mask. Sometimes you just get out of position as a defender when you're trying to make a tackle, so you end up flailing away, and your hand gets into the wrong spot. They'll run again with Blunt, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Now Brady throwing on second down. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. Nine yards to go. It's third down. They slot Gronkowski outright. Throwing his Brady on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. He juked him. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The D for the Pats, the Patriots heading back onto the field now. And a big reason they've got the lead here in the first half, some of these hits we're gonna see here. Almost like they're a group of superheroes, right? Something out of a comic book. Boom, pow, biff. 
they are really playing well and making things happen on their side of the ball. Taking me back to my childhood a bit. There you go. You had a collection, didn't you? I did. Start out on the ground with a giant. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 20 that time. And the Dolphins have a first down. One of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you either have a big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or you have defensive tackles that might line up in the A-gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, that gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run broke the contact and got some space. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down of the offense, needing five yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And time for us to take a break here in the booth. Back to Foxborough after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have highlights and analysis of this first half. And guessing mostly defensive highlights that we will see. Yeah, that's kind of cool. No touchdown scored yet so far. Yeah, none whatsoever. From the red zone now, Tannehill. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. Give him nine there on the first down completion. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Back to throw, Tannehill. They set up the screen to Ajayi. Nothing on the screen that time, now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. When you hear screen, screen, screen on defense, that's a little bit scary because you know a big play might result. He was so ready to get to part two of the screen, he forgot part one, couldn't get the ball. On now the Miami field goal unit. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So I guess we'll call this a pitcher's duel so far. I think that was a three-run homer there, and it makes it a 3-2 ball game. Yeah, what inning are we in? It's not the most common of score lines, but it's pretty indicative of the fact that we're in for a tight one. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And this will be a touchback. And as we saw in week one, the new rule, this one coming out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Dolphins' defense as they head out to set up shop. They're hoping to do what they did last time, force another punt. Last time it resulted in a field goal. We'll see if they can get another stop here, though. And the best defenses are in the business of preventing points and creating points. And that's exactly what these guys did on their last possession. Why? Because they got off the field on three and out, turned the ball over to their offense after the punt, and let them roll downfield and put the ball through the post for a field goal. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! On first down, Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Timing is crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Brady again here on second and ten. Going deep here for Edelman. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Edelman was the intended target, and it's third down. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered. He's able to get a hand in and knock it away. They come out here in the eye. Here's Brady. And that will be incomplete as well. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and that just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Now Landry. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he eventually goes down, but not before reaching the 30-yard line. Holding offense. And, of course, the defense is going to accept this penalty. Seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Here's Tannehill now on second down. It's caught. Stills right side. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. So completion on second down. That brings up third. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, hey, hey. 20. 20. 
A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. Here's Matt Dar now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They come out here in the eye. Now a play fake here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. And every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. So a ways to go here on third and 10. Carrying for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he'll, now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Landry now on the return. So possession goes over here on the punt. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. The final shot here before the break, Tannehill. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room as we send you now to Orlando and our Tiburon Studios, where Larry Ridley's standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Patriots came into today's game after a rough showing a week ago, and it's been more of the same. The Dolphins are keeping them off balance, and that's pushed them in front. Now looking to take advantage after the turnover. All right, let's roll those highlights. Cameron's found on the quick pass, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 47-yard line. Dolphins now later on the drive. Tannehill's going to find his mark, and he'll be tackled at the 11-yard line. Allen's punting it away. Landry's going to try for the return, and he'll be tackled at their own 48-yard line. We're set up for a great second half, so let's get you out to it. Here's Brandon Godden. The 
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. And he stopped immediately there. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The insistence of speed at every position is really seen at the defensive end spot. These guys in the old days were often outside linebackers. They just pushed them forward because they wanted to play fast and get to the quarterback or the running backs quicker than ever before. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. Here's Tannehill. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to move? And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. The former first-rounder, Barkevius Mingo, in there to drop him with his first sack of 2016. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys that they weren't playing football, they'd be starting in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Again, here's Blood. And they went the wrong way there, losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. All right, Brandon, you know me as well as anyone. You know I don't usually advocate abandoning things during a game, but here we are in the second half. I think it's time to change things up. Let the running game go a little bit. Let's get to the passing game, and if you still want to get in the hands of the runner, maybe you swing it to him, throw it to him a little bit, try it that way. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now a play fake, Brady. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. Eight yards there on a first down. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even added a little extra D end with a short run. Throwing on first down is Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They'll run it here with 
Blanc. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And that brings up fourth down. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. And Goskowski's kick is good. And with that, the lead changes hands here in this third quarter. So they don't get a touchdown here on this opening drive in the third quarter. But I think you still say mission accomplished as they come away from it with the lead. Absolutely. you got to apply the pressure here, make the other guys play catch up for a while. And now you just hope your defense can step up and protect the lead. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They'll begin the drive with a Johnny. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And he's back here in the struggle department in this one like he was a week ago. And, partner, I think you can pin some of this on that O-line, that room to run, just not, not there. You mentioned last week that it felt like the offensive line was getting beaten to the punch by the guys across the ball. Well, it was them. pretty evident, I thought. I mean, they were off the ball fast, penetrating, getting into the offensive backfield, really spilling a lot of runs before they got started. So I thought your observation was spot on then, and you're, you're, you're right there again this week. Same thing is happening. Not able to get started because they're not able to control the point of attack. Jamal sheared on the stop. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you can ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Radninkovich with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Here's Matt Dar now, standing right on his own five-yard line. Edelman set to return. They slot Gronkowski outright. Brady now on first down. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now a 
carry for Blunt. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. They're trying to establish that running game, but they're really, really having trouble, aren't they? Yeah, when you're running against a really good 4-3 defense, that means you've got big guys inside who control things. Those big defensive tackles are making it very difficult to find open space. Second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Looking for his all pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski, and it's third down. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Well, here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Throwing is Brady on third down. Over the middle. That's caught by Hogan. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. This is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And Charles, when you start talking about NFL kickers that have hit from 62 or further, it's a pretty short list, isn't it? That it is, but how about the trust by a head coach to even let your kicker try from that range? That's really showing a lot of faith that he can get the job done. Yeah, faith and guts. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think that there. factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. to Jay. And a nice spin into some open field. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. So that last play called back after the penalty, second and long here. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. now in Foxborough. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. They'll run it now out of the gun. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. 
And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. So it'll be first down here after the run. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker, has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Let's put our attention here now on the Dolphins' defense. And even though that last drive yielded points, it was a long field goal, so they probably weren't too upset about it. Although here, obviously, they'd like to give up zero. Of course, that's the goal each and every time out. But when, when they make that type of a field goal that long, you almost give them a little nod of respect to the kicker, like, congratulations. But you do feel pretty good about not giving up anything big. Yeah, and we'll see if they can not give up anything big on this drive. They start on the ground here with Blum. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Now Blunt, and he will lose yardage here back to his own six. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be third and ten now. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL, and a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, they were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses, and now we're seeing it in the NFL, those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter.
Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Brady gives this one to Lewis. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. So now here come the Dolphins. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Second down is Tannehill. It's caught. Stills right side. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? Toe the tapping. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Now Tannehill. He's got time in the pocket. Drops it off to Ajayi. <laughs> And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's Tannehill now on second down. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. It looked like he might have had a window there, but the rhythm was just a little bit off. It certainly was, because everything that has to come together to get a pass completed. Yeah, you're right. The sink just wasn't there. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He's back to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, 
taking care of the ball so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here we go with second and seven. Here's Blue. And he is going to look. Now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Still nine yards to go on third down. They come out here in the eye. To throw is Brady. And complete on the right side to Bennett. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. This is a Johnny. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. And the defensive penetration there blew that play up and got them two points. How about how they got off at the snap of the football, got upfield into the backfield, and created the big play? That's the key to everything. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. And now Edelman. <laughs> now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They have the lead, still a one possession game, but the defense got to stop. They've got the football now just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off and, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. Take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. 
And they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So for the Patriots, they make amends for their week one loss by winning their home opener. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Houston Texans next week. Meanwhile, for Miami, they'll drop to 0-2. And, and they'll try to make amends next week as they host the Cleveland Browns. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.